Katie Price acted as a bridesmaid at her sister Sophie's wedding after reportedly begging her to bring the ceremony forward ahead of her sentencing for breaching a restraining order. A former glamour model, 44, took to Instagram on Wednesday to share a glimpse at her sister's nuptials to Harry Brooks as she appeared to be enjoying the big day. She looked stunning in a blue silk off-the-shoulder gown as she served as a bridesmaid, while she was joined by her kids Harvey, Junior, Princess and Bunny. Katie accentuated her striking features with dramatic false eyelashes and a slick of pink lipstick, while she styled her golden tresses in a half-up half-down style. She shared an array of video clips to her Instagram stories of her children dancing and singing as they appeared to have the time of their lives at the reception. One clip showed Katie taking a selfie before panning over to her 14-year-old daughter Princess, who she shares with her ex Peter Andre, as she enjoyed a tasty snack. Another video showed Princess taking to the dance floor floor with her younger sibling Bunny, 7, who Katie shares with her ex Kieran Haler. And footage shared to the mother of Five's Instagram grid saw her son Junior, 17, dancing and singing along to his debut single Slide with Bunny. The sweet clip saw the brother and sister nailing coordinated dance moves as Junior belted out the track, which hit the number one spot on the UK iTunes pop chart. The glimpse inside Sophie's wedding comes after it was reported that Katie begged her sister to push up her nuptials by two days as she is due to appear in court on Friday. A source told The Sun that the close-knit family were desperate to spend Sophie's wedding together and moved up the ceremony after Katie was warned she faces jail. They added, Katie, looked proud as punch as they arrived at the church, smiling for the cameras and nothing like a woman who could be living in a cell in two days' time. Katie even brought a film crew along with her, typically, so Shush is obviously not too alarmed. But she was hell-bent on being at Sophie's wedding and they've been enjoying quality time together in the build-up. Katie was joined by her children at the wedding but it was previously reported that her fiancé Carl Woods was not allowed to attend the ceremony. Sophie, who got engaged to her partner Harry Brooks in March, reportedly refused to include Katie's fiancé Carl due to his on-off relationship with Katie as well as issues with Harry. According to The Sun, Katie was hoping that Sophie would let Carl attend after threatening behavior charges against Carl were dropped. A source said, Katie really hoped Carl would be able to come to the wedding and Sophie would change her mind but the guest list is already finalized and she respects her sister's wishes. She doesn't want anything distracting from Sophie's big day and she knows it's not about her or Carl. Katie will be there with a big smile on her face to celebrate her sister, but of course it makes her sad to not have Carl by her side. As for Carl, H.E.S. disappointed too but more for Katie's sake, he understands, however, and wishes Sophie and Harry all the best for their big day. The publication reported that Sophie and Harry tied the knot at a church in West Sussex not far from Katie's home on Wednesday. Sophie confirmed her engagement in March, writing on Instagram, Well I didn't expect that round the fire pit last night. I said yes. Hashtag im engaged. Hashtag yes. Hash summer wedding. The post was swiftly liked by Katie who posted a string of hearts in the comments section. Sophie and fiancé Harry, who have been together for 12 years, welcomed their son Albert last September. It was previously claimed that Carl had refused to attend the wedding after a row, with a representative for him, saying, Carl will not be attending the wedding. Carl and Sophie's partner, Harry, haven't always seen eye to eye therefore Carl has made the decision not to attend. The wedding comes after Katie was warned she faces jail after she pleaded guilty to breaching a restraining order by calling ex-husband Kieran Haler's fiancé a gutter SG. The mother of five was arrested on January 21 on suspicion of breaking her restraining order against Michelle Pentecost with a foul-mouthed text to her ex. The message read, tell your C asterisk asterisk NGW asterisk 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 piece of S asterisk girlfriend not to start on me. She has a restraining order so shouldn't try antagonize me as she is in breach and I'm sure she doesn't want people knowing that she was having an affair with you behind my back. That gutter s asterisk. Katie was later charged with breaching a restraining order but pleaded not guilty on April 27 and requested a Crown Court trial. But she pled guilty in May and was told by Judge Stephen Mooney that she was at risk of receiving an immediate custodial sentence. It was previously suggested she could face five years in jail if she had been found to have breached the order. 
Her lawyer Nicholas Hamblin said the star should avoid jail again because only the words tell you were a breach of the restraining order. He said, were it not for those two words in the message this would not be a breach. Katie, who was released on bail, will be sentenced for breaching the restraining order on June 24. She was handed the five-year restraining order on June 3, 2019 banning her from contacting Michelle directly or indirectly. The order came after Katie hurled a foul-mouthed tirade of abuse at her during a row in a school playground.